need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pooh for IFL TV. We are here in Newcastle. It's the start of a very big fight week. Mr. Headliner now, Idris Virgo. Um, opponentless today, but first of all, how are you? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great, man. Um, I just can't believe it's fight week. And in three days, I'm going to war with Sleepy Aaron, but I need he hasn't turned up. So I'm quite disappointed. I'm really disappointed with that. Why do you believe Aaron Chalmers hasn't turned up to what is the media workout Three, or three days away from the fight? Don't know, there's numerous reasons. One, he, one, he needs to make weight, so he needs to do a weight process or whatever. Two, probably have no energy to freaking do the public workout. Three, he might try to hide what he's got, what he can't really hide in the public workout because no one's hitting back. So um, he's lodged behind not showing up. It's not great. And inside of me, I hate what he's done because people on YouTube who are tuning in just to watch this and waiting just to see what he's got in his tank, he's, he's not showing up. So for you guys people I'm going to put a, more of a spectacular performance on for you people because it didn't turn up Do you feel slightly disrespected because you have made the effort to take time out of your camp to come here today and he hasn't done so? I don't feel disrespected he gave me more time you know what I mean music in the background that's my music is my stage like he's just I'm just letting him come in and have a bit of fun you know what I mean so for him not turning up like mate you do me a favour son but make sure you turn up on fight night Talk to me about the fight then, because you are going into the Lions Den. Aaron Chalmers is kind of famous from this city. That's how he made his fame. Um, going to thrive off that on the fight night? Yeah, listen, I, I don't mind people booing me because the boos are going to turn to, cheer, to cheers at the end of the night. Yeah, I'm in his territory. Um, uh, right about now, he ain't showing like his territory at all because I'm not seeing none of his fans here for him. But um, other than that... He's got more to prove. He's got more pressure than me because it's his territory, his turf, and it's his crowd. So he's got a lot more to prove. But the question is what he's got to answer himself. Can he make sure he perform on the night? Let's see. Have you been frustrated since the last time you fought? Because that performance against Anthony Taylor probably put you in a difficult position because a lot of people are treating you as maybe the bogeyman. Yeah, yeah, the Barry Edgar of, um, <laughs> of Misfits. That's what they call me now. Um, 100%, but... You know what? I show my levels after a year off. Now I've come in the ring again quicker than a year off. So I'm going to be more quicker, more sharper, more powerful. So, or oh, honestly, Sleepy Adam's got the wrong end of the stick because now I'm just going to showcase my, ta uh, my talent on a heavy bag. We, this has been called the Fighters Fight, and we've seen rumours of a potential pros tournament in Misfits. Is that something that you're looking towards if that were to happen? I don't know. Um, I wouldn't be fighting more of these influencers, hence why what Tommy Fury is doing. He's coward Tommy Fury, sorry, what he's doing. He's fighting influencers. Why can I not do the same thing? So, pro tomorrow, I don't know about that, but I'm more interested in these influencers and more of these crossover boxers, really. KSI, Tommy Fury, who wins? KSI, all day long, knockout. Same thing as what would happen if you got there with Tommy Fury? 100%. Like, Tommy Fury is just a coward. He only acts up when his dad's around. Um, but I, do, I just don't see Tommy Fury bring anything to the table what's going to trouble um, KSI. What did you make of what his dad done at the press conference? Oh, legend. That, that's <laughs> classic. This is what we need. It's entertainment. Being just forget, this whole sport is entertainment. I love it. Do you know what? I love John Fury. Like, hence why I mean Tommy got in that scuffle because I went to give respect to John Fury because when I spotted Billy Sundras, that's how I met John Fury. And um, the only reason Tommy Fury is where he is because of me, because his dad asked about Love Island and his son done Love Island. So, Tommy, you owe me some money. After that scaffold, what, what scaffold like ringside, what was your feelings towards that? And just in hindsight, what did you make of that whole situation? Pointless, it didn't need to happen. I was just, just about to walk away. But then he gave the big talk like I was a big man. So I had to step back to him and that's when it all started. Just a couple more. Uh, recently, you've been calling out a lot of people all over the kind of crossover business and traditional boxers, Floyd Mayweather, Carl Froch, um, 
about Carl Frotch. Carl Frotch is a coward as well. And well what's what is your problem with Carl Frotch? Like, because he's a coward. He's a coward. Like, the thing is, it's weird because he he, he calls he calls Jake Paul out, but then. When a, a legit boxer like myself, who's got skills and talent, unbelievable freaking looks, he doesn't want to react to it except for sliding him in the DMs, but he doesn't want to make it public. So it's a, bit, it's a bit weird. He's a coward. He's a coward. He only wants to strive for the weak. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm calling Carl Fletcher out. And he needs to see all these interviews and freaking see what he's saying because we could fight next. It would have been great to get him on October the 14th, but um, he's a coward, so that ain't going to happen. If you have one message for Carl, Carl Froch, what would it be? Carl Froch, you coward. Face your fears and sign a contract to fight me. That's all you got to do is face your fears. Forget about the clout. Forget, forget about the money, you, what you're getting. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you a coward. I'm calling you a pussy. You're going to make a man like me call you this and not fight me in the ring. You're a coward. You're a big, big coward. Remember that cartoon um, from Carlton Eckert? Carlton Eckert, Coward the Coley Dog. Is that? If anyone remembers it, I don't know if you said the name right, but yeah, he's a coward. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that cartoon, mate. Might be a little bit before my time. But um, just finally, Aaron Chalmers, is it personal between you? Is there a dislike now? Listen, there's a big dislike now. We're here for the public workout. He hasn't showed up for the public. So do you know what? The heat's going up in the kitchen. You can't disrespect the public. You know what I mean? So do you know what? You disrespect the public, you disrespect to me. So... Yeah, there's a big freaking problem now between me and Aaron Chalmers. What happens on Saturday night? Early finish now. It's going to have to be an early finish now for disrespecting us. But um, if early finish, first round. I did say one to three, but let's give it to the first round. Idris, best of luck on Saturday night. Thanks very much, brother. You do not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shot up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt, man. Right, the bouncer's killed me. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 